For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to talk about pinout diagrams and names of pins. So what I have here, you can see I've got a Feather RP2040 that's busily blinking away. Turn on a little light there, you can see it a little better. And off to the side here, you can see this is the pinout diagram from the learn guide for this board. Uh, I'll zoom in even a little bit more and what you can see here is on the left side of the board here, we have pins like A0, A1, A2, A3, and so on. So those are the board names and they are what silk screened onto the board. Uh, when we're using CircuitPython, very often we will talk to the pins using those names. However, when you look at this pinout diagram, one of the really important things that you can also see next to these uh, CircuitPython names is the actual chip names. That's the column in yellow here, and it exists on both sides. Uh, so pins like A0, A1, A2, A3 are actually for the chip, GPIO 26, 27, 28, 29. You can see sometimes these aren't in an order, sometimes they're mixed around, sometimes their names have nothing to do with the CircuitPython name. Uh, you can, however, use either of those names in CircuitPython. So if you look at my code here right now, I am going to go ahead and uncomment this section right here and save that. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and also go to that board. One second. Okay, so what you can see here is that I am calling this variable LED pin by the name digital IO, digital in out, board A3. And then I have a little LED and a resistor plugged into ground and board A3. If I want to use the microcontroller name instead, that is what we saw on this chart here, A3 uses GPIO 29. So I'm going to go ahead in my code and say lead pin equals D digital IO digital in out microcontroller dot pin dot GPIO 29. I'll hit save and the same thing is happening. So really CircuitPython doesn't care. It's using the same pin here, just being called by two different names. Now, one interesting thing you can do is if you go into the board itself in the REPL and import board, you can ask for the names of the pins on the board simply by saying dir board. And there you can see A0, 1, 2, 3, boot, button, D1, D10, all of these names that are familiar from the silk screen. If I import microcontroller, I can now do a similar thing. We're going to say dir microcontroller.pin. And now we're getting a list of the GPIO pin names that are the same as the chip names. Now one interesting thing about this is that these are very often the pin numbers that are used in Arduino. So if you're moving back and forth between Arduino and CircuitPython, sometimes you might find it helpful or useful to know the name of the chip pin rather than worrying about the silkscreen pin because it's going to be very likely the same in Arduino as in CircuitPython if you call it by this name. And so that is how you can use microcontroller pin names as well as board names in CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec.